This is a tutorial that demonstrates how to use the product Social Explorer for downloading basic census data. Uh, what you're looking at here is the home page for Social Explorer and notice up above that you can see here that this is showing that we have premium access provided by the University of Michigan. Um, this is telling us that we're using a, a more extensive product than the free version and in order for you to access that, let me move to this other web page. One approach to making sure that you're using the professional version is to go through the University of Michigan's library, uh, the Merlin search tools. So looking at this web page here, you can see that uh, if you go to Merlin um, and you uh, authenticate, log in with your UM unique name and password, and if you enter in under search tools, look under databases and do a search on Social Explorer and it'll bring up this. If you click on that, it will bring up this web page. So let's quickly get acquainted with what this web page offers us. Um, note that it is possible to make maps. It's quite easy to make maps. I'm not going to cover that right now. Coming back to the home page, um, what we're going to be doing for this tutorial is downloading basic census data that we'll manipulate in a spreadsheet. So in that case what we want is reports. So if you click on reports it brings up a number of options of various data products. Let's say that we're interested in using 2000 census data and imagine that we're dealing with a series of questions dealing with population, households, and housing units. So we'll scroll down to various decennial census data products and we find Census 2000 right here and so I'm going to click on that and it brings up a new page that will allow me to start making some selections. This tutorial is going to use a very simple scenario. Let's say that we're interested in looking for information on population, households, and housing units for counties in the state of Michigan. Um, when we begin at this screen, what we want to do is start making a series of selections where we move our way down making several different selections. We start with, by selecting our geography type. As I said, for this example we're going to look at counties. So we select county. That brings up a set of other selections. We're interested in Michigan so we'll select Michigan and now we want all the counties in Michigan note that you could just select individual ones if you want but in this case we'll select all the counties in Michigan and once you make your selections you select on this add button it brings up this little you can imagine this thing as a bin and you can actually go back and do other selections and add it to the bin. Eventually we're going to move on and everything in this bin then will carry over into our next set of selections. I'm going to suggest that I also take statewide levels. I think it's good practice whenever taking something from a subunit to take the larger unit as a basis of comparison. So now that I've got something in my bin, I'm going to go back up to the geography type and now I'm going to take the state. And in this case, instead of taking all the states, I just want Michigan. I'm going to add that to my so-called bin. I now have all the counties in Michigan and I also have the state of Michigan. Then I click Next. Now that I've made my geography selections, the next big task is to select the data set. Note that there are several selections in choosing a data set. There is an option produced by Social Explorer. Social Explorer takes census data, does some manipulations to the, to the data, and offers it in their own way. We're going to work strictly with raw census data. Rather than working with Social Explorer data, we're going to work with census data and in this case um, we're going to choose Summary File 1. So I make that selection, it offers me a series of other tables then that I need to select from. I recommend that you always know ahead of time 
which variables that you want to work with, and I suggest that you work with the technical documentation in order to choose that. Note that even if you haven't done the work of looking things up in technical documentation, you can do some searches by keyword in order to help you identify which variables you need, but I'm going to recommend that best practices are for you to enter into this download um, exercise first knowing which variables that you want. So let's assume, again, like I said, I, we're going to be working with population, household, and housing units. I've already done the work of identifying what I want, and that means P1. I can hit my control button, and I can move down and sc scroll down and select my next one, which I happen to know is P15 for households, and I want yet one more. Um, still holding the control button, I can scroll further down all the way to the H's. Rather than the P's, I want H's now because I want housing units, and in this case I want H1. I've now selected three tables. Let's say that's all I want for the particular set of questions I'm working with right now and I choose Add. And once again, this adds it to a bin. I could actually go back now and make some other selections and add it to the bin later if I wanted to, but for this tutorial I'm just going to work with this. I can now move on by clicking Show Result. The results now appear on this web page. And in fact, I have all that I need in order to do some calculations. You could take out a paper and pencil and do your own calculations. Um, you could cut and paste off of this web page if you wanted to. Um, and note that what it's showing us now is precisely what we asked for. We've got three variables here, here, and here. And then we've got for every county in Michigan. Um, represented by columns, we've got this information. Um, if you want to download this data for further manipulation, you can click, you actually have two options. You can do it by Excel or you could do it by data download. I'm going to show you both options and give you some comparisons so that you understand the, the, the trade-offs between either using Excel or data download. Let's start with data download click on this tab here, and now it brings up a set of options for you to select. Note that a strength of the data download as opposed to Excel is precisely as it says right here in this text. It's good for things like working with um, statistical packages, databases, and GIS applications. By all means, if you're working with GIS, it's data download that you want rather than Excel. Um, and here I would suggest selecting output column labels in the first row. You then have an option of either separately downloading the county data and the state data as two separate files, or uh, Social Explorer actually gives you this option of bringing them all together in one file. Um, for now, I'm going to suggest that you do the all in one file. You would then click that and save the file. And it downloads to a place on your hard drive that you can recover later. Let's take a look at the Excel option. Now, the Excel option, Social Explorer allows you to choose several different versions. Um, and also several different options in formatting. So you can click this button for formatting. Um, I suggest that you just simply take the defaults. It's just fine. I don't think you need these percents. I'm going to uncheck the percents. And I'm going to take the version of 2007. I can save the file to my hard drive and later I can go back and recover it and open it up. Let me now show you what these two look like. I've already done those. Uh, I've already downloaded them. Uh, let's take a look at the data download version first. This is what the data download version looks like. Um, it brings in 
a set of rows, it brings all of the columns that we asked for. So you can see the columns in the state of Michigan like this. And over on the right, then, are the three variables that we downloaded. Note that it comes in two ways from the selections that I made. You can see that this one is total population, this one is households, and this one is housing units. Uh, the second row provides code names as provided by the Census Bureau, and you might want to retain that information. Um, note again that the strength of this arrangement is good for working with GIS and for databases. Anytime you want to be doing some joining and working with other databases, this is a good option to use. By contrast, the Excel option, if you were to choose that for the download version, that would look like this. Note that it looks quite different than the other approach. In fact, it's transposed, meaning that what used to be in rows is now in columns. That is, the counties in this case are in columns, and the three variables here, here, and here now appear as rows. This is a good choice when all you're doing is answering a series of questions, perhaps manipulating in some spreadsheet software. So this is the one that I would suggest for answering just some basic questions. This is as far as this tutorial goes. I just wanted to show you how Social Explorer works for gathering data and for your download options. Um, I hope you found this helpful and please feel free to check back for other tutorials later. Thank you.